This morning we are learning more about the issue that caused the lowered section of I-70 to flood earlier this summer. 90s reporter John Glasgow is live near I-70 and Brighton Boulevard. And John, we're learning that emails between the contractor and CDOT actually so show several things went wrong. Yeah, a number of things went wrong, Jordan, and it could be very costly for Kiewit, the contractor behind the Central 70 project. Kiewit says that they're still looking into why this happened, but they say at this point they know what happened, they still don't know a cause. This is what the interstate looked like on August 7th when two inches of rain fell in about a half an hour. Kiewit says that there was an air in the drainage pump system that kept the pumps from turning on automatically. The contractor goes on to say they are still investigating. In an email to CDOT, the company wrote about the pumps, quote, we do not know if they were not running at all or if something caused them to stop. The email also says water cascaded over the barriers and onto the highway, which only made the flooding worse. As a result, Kiwit will not receive full compensation for the cost of the project. CDOT says that they could lose out on tens of thousands of dollars by withholding some of the substantial completion payment. Now the bigger issue for Kiwit, figuring out what went wrong with the drainage system so it doesn't happen again. So in another email between CDOT and Kiewit, Kiewit says that they were called this incident a bad incident and also quote that they were embarrassed by what happened. Now this also could cost them even more than those fines as well because some of the drivers can now put some of their damages towards the company as well. There's a claims process that the company is working through as well. They've also contacted a number of those drivers who had their vehicles flooded and they're working through the process on that. Yeah, certainly a lot there that we learned, John. We appreciate you digging for, uh, through that for us this morning. Thanks so much.